All right, on over into Health Matters. Did you know that January is Cervical Cancer Awareness Month? Well, one group is stepping in to help women get tested and provide a ton of education. The American Cancer Society is forgetting about the cold winter weather, and we're thinking about spring, and we're here with Heather and Jenny. We're talking about daffodil days this morning. So, ladies, first off, how are you today? Great. Yeah? You ready for that snow coming in? Ready for like spring. Amanda was just talking about? Ready for spring. But you're ready yeah. for spring. Okay, that's most yeah. important. So tell me a little bit about Daffodil Days. Sure. Um, just start, it's a program that used to be um, widespread in the region, and it went away for a little while. And so we're excited that it's back. Um, it's something that individuals can get involved in. It's something that businesses can get involved in. Teams that are part of other events that we do across the state could get involved and use it as a fundraiser. But really, it's an opportunity for the American Cancer Society to thank people. Um, mm -hmm. When somebody makes a donation to us, and there's three tiers that you can get involved, in exchange, we give you the gift of a daffodil, which is a bright, warm, yellow symbol of hope. Um, people that make a donation can have fresh cut flowers, a pot flower, or we have this really great opportunity called Gifts of Hope, where instead of the donor receiving the flowers, we will actually work with volunteers and our hospital system staff to donate those flowers to patients at local area hospitals or the Hope Lodge here in Burlington, Vermont. Wow, that's amazing. And we have the daffodils right behind you, or <laughs> what they look like, too. And Jenny, where do you come into all of this? Uh, I'm a volunteer. I'm a team captain with Relay for Life. Um, I got involved oh, in 2015 after my little brother died. Uh, my mom started our team. and. Last year, she and I sold almost eight thousand dollars worth of daffodils. Eight thousand dollars. And I am, in our community. Yes. Wow. In Chittenden County alone, I am especially determined to break that this year because, sadly, on May 9th, Mom was diagnosed with cancer. Oh, I'm so sorry. And she lost her battle on May 23rd. I'm so sorry. Well, this is such a great cause, yes. and you know, something to remember her by her and you know your brother too. Definitely. And so, what do you guys have? Um, what's in store for for this? for this upcoming uh, event that's different from years past? Well, I think in some ways because it's not its not actually an event, it's more of like a program. Right. So we will talk to different businesses, individuals right. and teams, and some of them will kick off things around the holidays, um, but it does wrap up two weeks um, February 11th is when yes. we will be ending orders just so we can make sure that we can manage the delivery of the flowers to the hospital. So if anybody is interested in making a donation and receiving flowers, they can contact Jenny or I by going on our Daffodil Days of Vermont Facebook page. Um, but it's just an opportunity where people can get involved and it doesn't mean them taking time out of their day. Sometimes people put out a flyer and kind of like a we say calorie free Girl Scout cookie form um, in their office. And they can a calorie say, free, yeah. oh, I like that. And um, you can sign up to get flowers um, at your office, or a company like Lunix downtown Burlington, Vermont, will make um, a donation and get a large uh, bulk of flowers, and they will cover the restaurant in yellow when the flowers come in the week of March 18th. And it's just a nice opportunity for people to be. Um, surrounded with a positive thought when unfortunately there are a lot of right. um, tough times when people go through a journey. Mm -hmm. um, it's just a warm opportunity. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Yes. And it's so cool that local businesses are involved too, you know, mm -hmm. seeing a, yes, a, a really well-renowned restaurant in our community, Lunigs, you know, taking part in that too. Are there mm -hmm. other businesses that are hopping on the bandwagon? Um, I know I've got several accounting firms are oh, in cool. because All March right. is such a crunch time for oh, them. Yeah. They love having flowers around the office oh, yeah. while they're Brings up that happiness. last minute mm -hmm. jam. Yeah. So well, lots great. of, and we're still open for more. So if anybody yeah. absolutely, wants to help out, we got some out. time here. That's we got right. some time, and we're <laughs> actually going to have all that information on our website at myshamplainvalley.com. Thank you guys so much for coming in today. Thank you. Absolutely. Thank you. Again, if you want that information, you can head to our website. We'll be right back.